Hello Pisces. This is your reading for mid-September 2019. I'm asking for new energies, hopefully positive energies for Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rise in Pisces. Energies coming in for Pisces. As you know, it will not resonate with all Pisces individuals. But I'm hoping to reach the majority. And I always look for a positive reading. But if we don't get one, we usually work it out. You know, I don't leave you hanging. Or I try not to. You're feeling a little bit um, like you have anxiety with the Nine of Swords. Maybe um, you're a little stressed about something. Maybe something's keeping you up at nights with the Nine of Swords. It's the incoming energy. Could be that some of you just have insomnia. That's it too. But we shall see. Four of Pentacles in the upright. Coming in energy is the subject at hand, holding on to what is yours, wanting more stability. Um, sometimes it's about getting more abundance and money, you know, coming toward you and that you keep it to yourself sometimes. What is crossing it is independence and gain. You're trying to accomplish that. You're trying to bring it into yourself and you're trying to become more independent in your life. Oh, what crowns you or your goal is the Ten of Pentacles. You, what crowns you, you may very well get your overall stability or whatever you're reaching for or whatever you're doing may eventually get there with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Foundation, dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. In reverse, someone is not feeling real secure and stable in their lives. For some of you, you can be dealing with a... Um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I do not assign one zodiac sign to the court cards, certain court cards, because I'm reading for the masses. It's not the same as reading a private reading or personal reading. But this is someone who's not feeling like they got everything together, you know, stability-wise, money-wise, feeling safe in life, you know, when it comes to finances especially. In the past, you're dealing with the Knight of Rods. This could be uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or no, not Aquarius, I'm not Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I had to get that out. But the Knight of Rods is a go-getter, someone with a lot of passion, someone willing to um, go that extra step because they have the energy to do so. You can be dealing with a fire sign, but not necessarily. You can take on this energy and get real passionate about the things you're wanting. And maybe um, because you're having anxiety and wanting to, you're thinking about things, maybe you're going to start getting things going. I do see that Ten of Pentacles, remember. And I will clarify these cards. And as I clarify, as you know, it can change the story up. So stick with me. Very near future, you may be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. King of Swords in Reverse. Or somebody whose uh, speech is very abrupt and to the point. And sometimes their words are cutting. They don't always mean to be cutting. But in this case, because they are in reverse, it's very cutting words. Or like I said, you're dealing with um, an air sign. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. The Ace of Pentacles. I knew things would eventually get better for Pisces. Maybe a possible, um, the universe is telling you a new offer may be coming that's more stable. To wait for it, possibly. i got to clarify to find out. Um, and remember, this could be the possible future outcome if you listen to advice. So something is coming your way that's new and stable. I like the Ace of Pentacles out of all the Aces because they usually bring long-term stability. Where the others may, may stay, they may go, you know. What is coming towards you... Or the outside environment beyond your control was a burden. Someone is carrying a burden. Whether you're carrying this burden as an outside source um, or somebody else is carrying a burden. And I will clarify to find out. This is usually beyond your control. Hopes and fears. You fear maybe with the chariot in reverse things will become chaotic or stagnant and come or stop altogether. Remember, these are fears. You can also call this the manifestation section where you can manifest a better outcome no matter what. It depends on you. But right now you're thinking things are going to stop. You, you turn that around in your mind so you can manifest what you want. This is also a manifestation section, the goal and what crowns you. So use these two. Go for what you're wanting and don't fear what may stand in your way or may or things may stop. Don't think that way, okay? Outcome. It's a nine of wands in, in reverse. It's not a bad card in reverse. It means you're not going to... 
um, ponder too much on what you're trying to do next, you know. Um, usually when I see that in the upright, is someone thinking about a burden um, when it's in the upright. But in reverse, they kind of say, I'm not going to think about those burdens anymore. Now let's go back to the beginning and then we'll start, you know, we're going to start clarifying. And like I said, I could change the story up. So stick with me, make it more clear. Going back to the beginning with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles that is crossing it. And I already explained what that was, but let me get some clarifiers or the second question card. Four of Pentacles in the upright, Nine of Pentacles crossing it. Why are you there? For Pisces as a subject at hand. King of Pentacles trying to regain stability. Trying to uh, have your overall satisfaction in life. Have people look up to you, become more educated, become a, a leader in some way, but in a, a practical manner. King of Pentacles can be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. You, it could, you could take on this energy. It does not have to be in our sign. It could be someone just trying to take on this energy. Can I get another card for the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles as a subject at hand? For Pisces. Knight of Cups. But you're thinking you're not getting a lot of offers the way you're wanting no, no, the offers that you love or the or situations coming towards you of the, the things that you love. This could be you. You know, where your emotions, you're trying to keep in check. You're trying to get things together, even though you feel it's difficult. The Knight of Cups, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you just feel like uh, a good omen's not coming in. Again, these are more of emotions than anything. Now, go towards your goal. What crowns you is the Ten of Pentacles, and it's a great card. It's finally getting your overall stability in life where you want to go. And I, as I said before, you can manifest this. This is a manifestation type section. Now, Ten of Pentacles in the upright. I'm trying to shuffle these. Why are you there for Pisces as what crowns them or the goal? You may have a little bit of competition in doing so with the five of wands. You may have to, ar you know, not argue, but fight for what you're wanting. You know, that's what that has to do with, especially when I see it with the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, both in the upright. Why are you there for Pisces? Yeah, I may even go for new contracts and solid contracts, something that really comes in as well, but there's um, that does you you know well in society that that is looked highly upon in in society. Something good, something like I said, solid. But you may have to compete for it. So go ahead, compete for it, Pisces. You may very well get it. Okay, it may be a little um, tiresome at first, but don't let it get to you. Okay. Now, as the foundation, you got the Queen of Pentacles. Again, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But like I said, it also could be that you're not feeling really secure at the foundation as we're, as we're speaking. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why are you there? For Pisces. Why are you there? Yeah, someone's not working hard or there's no work with the Eight of Pentacles. It's like someone is not working hard enough towards what they're wanting and they got to work harder. Or like, like I said, there's just not enough work. So Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, both in reverse is the foundation. Why are you there? Ace of Wands. And you feel like you're not getting any passionate new beginnings with work. That's the foundation. That's just what's like kind of supporting this, you know, what your overall feelings are, you know, and what's going on. But your goal is to go for something that's a little competitive that you should really do. Because remember, the energy would not be there if it was not possible. Okay. Now, in the past, the Knight of Rods, you can be there with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in the upright. Or, like I said, passionate energy is moving forward again. So, Knight of Rods in the past. Why are you there for, for Pisces? I almost said Aries. Why are you there for Pisces? What's going on? Cards do not want to shuffle wheel of fortune. Felt like you had a little bad luck, but I don't think you're giving up. You may have some bad luck with the Knight of Rods, like I said, a fire sign with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse in the past. Or you just may have had some bad luck in general, even though you were striving forward. So the Knight of Rods in the upright, Wheel of Fortune in reverse in the past for Pisces. Why are you there? Why are you there? 
and you had a whole lot of options but it's like the options are not what you were wanting they weren't all the way there it's like they were just like ugh, yuck options or offers with the seven of cups and also a little bit of confusion but you feel like you know you had some bad luck in the past and the foundation you didn't feel like work was out there or work or maybe you weren't working hard enough for the ace of wands but some of you may not have been, feel like you were getting it either you know but like i said go for that goal but in the near future you're going to be dealing with the king of swords it could be someone with really sharp energies like i said you could take up this energy it doesn't have to be you don't have to have be an air sign to take up this energy you can be any sign so the king of swords in reverse while you're there for Pisces in the very near future. Very near future. Queen of Cups, that's you. You may be arguing with an air sign. Now I see that. Or like I said, you could be taking on these words. But I see the Queen of Cups as being upright. Someone who has their crown on, their emotions are in check. They know what they want. So the Queen of Cups is very dreamy type appearance sometimes. Very poetic, but very kind also at times. So King uh, King of Swords, Queen of Cups, why are you there in the very near future for Pisces? What's going on? King of Swords again. Ooh, you are dealing, maybe you are dealing with an air sign, but someone with sharp words, and maybe you're trying to um, talk to them. You're trying to speak with them and calm them down. You may very well do it, but at first they come in pretty rapidly. For some of you, you'd be dealing with a couple of air signs, but you could be dealing with someone at first with really sharp words, and you talk to them in a um, calm, emotional manner, and they may turn that in the upright, and they actually may become your ally. But let me get another card for that. And let's rock the boat a little bit here. King of Swords. Queen of, King of Swords in reverse. Queen of Cups in the upright. King of Swords in the upright. In the very near future. Why are you there for Pisces? In the very near future. Yeah, the moon. There may be some discussions whether th this air sign or this someone with sharp words think you're, you're keeping something from them or or vice versa, but someone is not clear on what they're saying and it needs to be cleared up and it looks like that's what you're going to be doing, clearing up um, misinterpretations, okay? You're going to be clearing that up. Now, possible future outcome and advice from the universe. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, so something good and solid is coming your way and it does kind of collaborate with the goal or what crowns you. So, <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles, in the upright, while you're there for Pisces, as a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. And advice from the universe. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Yeah, something. You get new offers coming your way, so don't worry about that. Um, the universe is telling you that you got new offers coming your way. Some are sharp to the point, so that could be like that air-type energy and something very practical and long-term. So Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, both in the upright, while you're there for Pisces. Possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Yeah, and and even though, like, it's going to be offered to you, and you may be a little disappointed in what is offered, but please, uh, what is associated with the Five of Cups is someone is looking at the downside of life and not the positives. There is a positive to this situation here. So don't be disappointed in new offers that are coming towards you because they're good offers, and maybe you won't like them. Maybe it has to do with the past of Seven of Cups. You don't know if you like those options. They're confusing. Now, the outside environment, we'll get back to this once we get the other cards. But let's get back to what is coming towards you or the outside environment beyond your control is the Ten of Wands. It's hard work in a way. It's, it's carrying a burden. It's, it's really having to struggle. So, Ten of Wands in the upright while you're there for Pisces. What's going on? Page of Swords. Someone's feeling a burden over a message they are not receiving or messages that are confusing or straight to the point that are a little harsh. And maybe it's got you worried because someone sent a message that caused a burden. So Ten of Wands in the upright page of swords in reverse is the outside environment. Why are you there for Pisces? What is coming towards you also? Yeah, you're under a burden of a choice you need to make with the Two of Wands. And I say this often, Two of Wands, someone wants to keep on both things in their life. One is a safety net and the other is the future of what you could take. And you want to take on both. You want to hold on both real tight. 
but the, the what is attached to this card is that you eventually must make a choice and maybe it's causing you a burden and this is beyond your control it's you're gonna have to make a choice and maybe you don't want to send the message right now or someone sent you a message saying you better make your choice now your hopes and fears is a chariot in reverse and the chariot in reverse you know you can turn that around if you want um, because they are hopes and fears and manifestations that are not necessarily reality unless you make it a reality. So the chariot in reverse, while you're there for Pisces, as a you know, fears, you know, positives in life, manifestations in life, hopes in life, while you're there, the chariot in reverse, while you're there. You're afraid of heartbreak that may be associated with whatever's being offered to you. The chariot in reverse, three of swords in the upright while you're there for Pisces. You're fearing heartbreak. And you don't want to fight and argue anymore, but you need to, in a way, with the five of wands, go for what you're wanting and don't back down. Go for those positive new contracts. Um, stability, if it is relationships with the Pentacles, it's going for your overall stability in relationships. Yes, Pentacles can uh, go towards relationships and money. But most people I know, or a lot of people I know, want emotional, not, not only emotional um, security, they want um, financial stability, overall stability, physical stability in their lives. So yes, Pentacles can show up in relationship readings. So in the end, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse, why are you there? For Pisces. And this is someone who's not going to work real hard on something. You may not make that decision, that judgment call that you need to make, um, because you're still wondering whether you should take it. The universe says, uh, don't, don't worry about disappointment. You're going to be offered these things. But you yourself may think the situation is a burden of the choice you need to make. It could be that you're having an outs or a discussion with an air sign because they think something's not upright, you know, or good or, you know, clear enough. And they may be telling you or you may be telling them, I'll, I'll investigate a little bit more, but, you know, you may be afraid to make that decision just because of the discussions you had with other people. The thing is, don't let situations stop you from getting your overall stability. Don't let the negative noise get in your head to where you do not accomplish that Ten of Pentacles, if that makes any sense, okay? Now, let's get back to the, the overall and, and ending energy. And remember, you could turn this around if you don't want it because the universe is giving you advice and telling you the possible future outcome. You can get these new stable offers, and it should take off in a, in a positive way. But you're like I said, you're not trusting stuff. So the Nine of Wands, the Judgment card in reverse, why you there is a final outcome for Pisces. Maybe you have a reason for turning it down. Yeah, you may, you're still stuck in past world situations of, of fear. So to overcome that fear, you need to move forward. You can't um, let the moon disturb you so much, heartbreak disturb you so much, worried about fighting for what you're wanting, bother you so much. The outside environment, it, it is a burden, whatever is being um, brought before you to move forward. But when you do, new offers and new situations that are long-term will come in if you put the energy forth and go for it, if that makes any sense to you. So for you to overturn this situation where things, um, where you won't make a decision, you won't make a judgment call, you're still living in the past in some ways with the world in reverse, you are, um, you can go towards what the universe is wanting to offer you instead of being in your thoughts of over past heartbreak and things going to a halt and thinking about the past too much. Now there it is, a page of pentacles. And I told you I think of pages and messengers, but you know, uh, message of overall stability someone's offering you stability or um, sending you a message about um, stability stable stuff that comes in so I'm thinking someone's going to make you an offer or, or something of that nature where something is coming in that's more solid for some of you that don't believe this is a messenger it could be a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo or someone young at heart that's practical but I'm seen as a message because of all this other thing, all these other things coming in. The universe is telling you it's coming in. Don't let fear overtake you. You overtake fear and get on with your life, and you'll be able to do 
deal with this pretty good. I mean, I'm just thinking that Neptune energy, the way it's going on in Pisces, and I'm feeling it too. Um, it's causing people just to be a little like foggy in, in situations, almost like they can't think straight, you know. But know that you can have what you're wanting if you keep on going for it, even though the world seems like a little against you and you're a little uncertain because you're afraid of things that may not pan out. You're afraid of heartbreak. You're afraid of burdens. And it could get a little heavy, but it's prosperous, okay? That is your reading, and I will upload it mm, soon. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.